All right, guys. So E3, you know, uh, just about everything E3 showed was a disappointment to me for the most part. But say there's one thing that did kind of stand out, and that was Evil Within 2. Um, Evil Within, the first one, I thought was okay. I think it was extremely overrated uh, by fanboys. Uh, simply because it was made by the guy who made Resident Evil 4, and so that's why it had so many fanboys. Uh, I, I made a video about Resident Evil 7, and oh my god, I got so many retarded fanboys. Like, there are so many Resident Evil retards out there. And I know a lot of them are kids, too. They don't know real horror games. Uh, Evil Within wasn't really a real horror game. I mean, it was somewhere in between. You see what I'm saying? Um, the horror genre, I mean, as a whole, I'm talking movies and games, is pretty much a dead thing. But um, some, every once in a while, you do get some good stuff. You get some good gems. But uh, I just have to say, the trailer to Evil Within 2 did look good. And... Uh, I think they will base it more on horror rather than just shooter. And so I think that will be a good thing. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people know what I'm saying. A lot of people are disappointed with the new Resident Evil games because they're more shooter based. Um, I like some stories in Resident Evil 6. I didn't think it was as bad as some people said. But yeah, 5, 6, and 7, those were just like shooters. I mean, they were they were just shooter games, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. I still enjoy the elements of shooting. I think you can have elements of shooter within horror games, but you just have to be careful how much is in there. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm, I am hyped about Evil Within 2. It actually does look good, but I just have to say, but trailers don't mean anything. Uh, you know, the Evil Within 1, the trailer looked good, but the game wasn't that great. So, I mean, look, it's just, um, I guess you could say it's a gut feeling. I think they learned from their mistakes, and I think the second one will be better. Um, but again, I just, I just want to make it very clear. Like, I don't think the first one was awful. I don't think it was awful by any measure. I mean, it was, you can tell a lot of hard work was put into it, but the same with Resident Evil 7. Like, uh, you know, just because it has good environments and, you know, stuff like that, a lot of detail, to me that doesn't necessarily make it a great game, though. So, anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a good one. Peace.